Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about tongue twisters and vocal warm-ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon. Hello, this is Rodney Salisbury inviting you to ring in the holidays with me and my new album, Christmas with Rodney Salisbury. Enjoy my version of some of your favorite classics like Christmas Just Ain't Christmas or The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and so many more. Download your copy on iTunes and Amazon or go to RodneySalsberry.com. It's available everywhere you enjoy music. Voiceovers for apps. Voiceovers for apps. I always try to bring to you opportunities for work in the voiceover field. Hopefully, if some of you had a chance to listen to some samples of some of my work in this area, one of the samples was the narration work I did for the NFL Play 60 app for kids. In this app, I played the role of a coach taking the kids through exercises to help them be healthy. This app was created in part by the NFL and the American Heart Association, and I want you to know that it has been a pure pleasure for me to know that it is my voice that is assisting in the good health of our growing youth who, after all, will one day grow up to be healthy, productive individuals in our community. So it's been a pure joy to be a part of this app for the NFL and the American Heart Association. I want you to know that there is no shortage of apps that need narration. As a matter of fact, I recently read that over 60% of the apps on the market today will actually talk to you. Are you looking for expert advice on advancing your voiceover career? Are you just getting started in the business? Join the Consultants Club and receive monthly coaching on how to read scripts, interpret copy, and get work in the fastest growing business in the world. When you join the Consultants Club, go to RodneySalsbury.com and sign up. My daughter turned me on to an app called Talking Ben. And the funny thing about this Talking Ben is that... The funny thing about this Talking Ben... He actually repeats everything that you say. He actually repeats everything that you say. Now, the good thing about that is the voices... The good thing about that is... (laughs) Okay, let me cut him off. The voices cut him off. The voices that you hear are voices that were put there by actors, uh, and then there's some type of mechanism that makes it repeat. But they use female actors and male actors to put their voices in there, and so the voice that is closest to what your voice is when you talk, that voice is used to repeat whatever you said. Talking Ben, very nice. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalsbury.com. Let me start by talking about the types of opportunities that are out there, the types of apps that are being made. Animation apps. Big-time successful animated movies are producing apps based on the movie. Movies like Shrek, Kung Fu Panda and Frozen are using other voices to voice the app versions of their movies. Many times the stars don't do these apps and that leaves room for you and me. And this is why soundalikes are so important. So you really need to sharpen your skills to sound like your favorite animated characters from successful animated films. 
because there's a chance that you could get a chance to do their voices in the app versions of the movies. Audio guides. Audio guides are narrations for museums, exhibitions, city walks, uh, for corporate use, okay? Audio guides. With audio guides, you need to be able to deliver information without distracting from the objects on display. For instance, if you are an audio guide in a museum, you don't want your voice to distract from what people are looking at. So you have to be able to deliver the right tone of voice and, and strike a balance between grabbing their attention when their attention needs to be grabbed by you, but for the most part, blending in the background. Okay, so that's real important to be able to deliver information without distracting from the objects on display. If you happen to speak a foreign language, that really comes in handy. Okay, if you're fluent in something other than English, then you should be trying to do translator apps. Find a company that is producing translator apps and let them know that you have the ability to speak this different language and they will use you on the app and we'll be back after this message Baby, come give me you can bank on your voice second edition get your copy at amazon.com get the audiobook on audible.com you can bank on your voice second edition get your copy today Another area that's great for using voices for apps today is the apps that take care of the blind and visually impaired. It has been said that technology has made the world smaller, but for the blind or those with poor vision, eye devices are opening up a whole new world. And um, there's an app list that I found that had a whole bunch of uh, great apps for the blind. I think this is another opportunity for you to use your voice to be a talking map and you allow the blind to explore the world by listening to you. They can move their fingers around the map on the app and, and while exploring or crossing a street, they can know what to do and be signaled by a vibration or by your voice. All right. So I think it's real important to do that. I think it's a great service to the community and it is also another way to be employed using your voice and apps. Um, one thing that really impressed me was something called the Looktail Money Reader. And the nice thing about this thing is that it, it gave a blind person the ability to handle money and, and actually handle denominations of paper money because your voice let them know what the denomination was. They were able to operate from day to day by listening to your voice on an app. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalisbury.com and... Telecom apps. Yeah, telecom apps are very important. Now, these are apps that get into telecommunications. They'll use your voice for things like messaging, interactive voice response systems. We talked about this before, also known as IVR, interactive voice response systems. There are apps for that kind of thing now. E-learning. E-learning apps you have to be prepared for long sessions, and these sessions can be quite tedious when you get into e-learning. But that's also another thing that's out there, e-learning apps. When I bring these things to you, I know a lot of you are out there saying, and I say this myself all the time, it's great that you are turning me on to the possibility and letting me know that these things are there. But can you tell me how to get this work? Well, I'm going to try to tell you how to do it. I definitely am. But the bottom line is this. It is work 
that gets the work. So you have to do the due diligence. You have to go after it. You have to get on the Internet. You have to turn every stone and look under it and try to find the opportunity and the way to get yourself on an app. Firstly, we depend on the conventional way of receiving auditions from our agents or pay-to-play websites. More proactive ways to get work would be doing your own due diligence, like I'm always telling you every month, and researching the Internet for companies that create apps. My personal research led me to one company called Outfit 7 Limited. Outfit 7 Limited. They are located in the U.K., London to be more specific. And I know a lot of you are saying, oh, my God, they're located in the U.K., well, look, they also have subsidiaries all over the world, none of them in this country, but nothing is impossible to get to with today's technology. I wouldn't let the fact that they are located in the UK stop me from pursuing their representatives. This is the company that produced the app that I talked about earlier, Talking Ben. They also developed other apps that are fun, family, friendly, and good for plenty of entertainment and interactivity, okay, such as uh, JigT, which is a jigsaw app. Perhaps you could be the voice of their next app. There are other companies, I'm sure. All you have to do is research. Braylon Brown. The new novel by Rodney Salisbury. It's the heartwarming story about a family in Detroit. The Motown sound was alive and well. The Philly soul sound was alive and well. And the big three automakers were making wonderful cars every day. Graylin Brown. The novel. Get your copy at Amazon.com or wherever books are sold. So let's go back to the beginning and wrap this up. How to get started. The first thing to do is to find out who is doing apps. If you have a favorite app, find out who made that app, and there's a good chance that they're making more apps. The next thing you're going to do after that is you're going to go through that list and start to deduct. You're going to deduct the things that aren't that good. Next, you're going to start looking for auditions for apps. Keep an eye and an ear out for auditions for apps. In the past, you probably didn't deal with it. You dealt with commercial auditions, you dealt with narration auditions, but now you're going to make a concerted effort to find places to audition for apps. What to charge for your services? This varies. The ideal situation would be to get into a point where you are receiving royalties for the app. You're participating in the profits from apps sold. That's pretty far-fetched. It doesn't happen often, but try to get the best deal that you can. Try to get that kind of deal. If you can't, find out what the job is paying. That's first. And then, are you willing to work for it? Everything is based on what the market will bear. It's also based on what you're going to be happy with. If you and the employer come up with a satisfactory amount for your services, then you're fine. Okay? So what to charge depends on what the market bears, what other people have charged for these kinds of services. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalsbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts, where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.